Apparently there's a bit of a uh, FPS issue, YouTube, but if we can just ignore that, we'll be good to go. Uh, it shouldn't be that bad considering it's a DS game, so if we miss a few frames, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if that bothers you. Thank you, Your Honor. Mr. Wright, given the circumstances, I think we should have a test to ascertain your readiness. Yes, Your Honor. Gulp. Hand shaking. Eyesight fading. Palms are sweaty. Knees weak. Alright, anyway. The test will consist of a few simple questions. Answer them clearly and consciously. Please state the name of the defendant in this case. Uh... Defended. The person defending himself would be Larry. That's Larry Butts, Your Honor. Okay, we got that right. Just keep your wits about you and you'll do fine. Next question. This is a murder trial. Tell me, what's the victim's name? Whew, I know this. Glad I read the case report cover to cover so many times. It's... Wait. Ah, <laughs> you forgot, didn't he? No, no way, I forgot. I'm drawing a total blank here. It's because we don't know. Phoenix, are you absolutely sure you're up to this? You don't even know the victim's name. Do you have to... I mean, we're in a court trial. You're trying to cover yourself up a little more. Anyway. Oh, the victim. Of, of course I know the victim's name. I uh, just forgot temporarily. Yeah, sure. I think I feel a migraine coming on. Look, the defendant's name is listed in the court record. Just touch the court record button to check it at any time, okay? Remember to check it often. Do it for me, I'm begging you. Alright, court record. We'll just click this. No one would believe I was a defense attorney if I didn't carry this. One of my possessions. Time of death. Uh, July 31st, 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. Cause of death. Loss of blood due to blunt trauma. Okay. My affair. Uh, profile. Very butts. Cindy Stone. No, that's not our guy. Winston. This is the guy who killed him. Alright. Uh, so let's select our answer here. Winston. Wait, no, that's not an option. Hold on. That's not an option. The prosecutor for this case. Yeah, that's the guy who killed him. This is the guy that was in the purple suit, right? Looks like him. Who the fuck is he? Where's the guy that was in the purple suit? What are my answers again? Or what are my choices? Your victim. Who is the victim? I thought it was, uh... Larry. Who's Cindy? The victim. Oh, the victim. The person who died. Alright, Cindy. The victim's name is Cindy Stone. Correct. Now tell me, what was the cause of death? Uh, blunt trauma. Blunt object. She was struck once by a blunt object. Correct. You've answered all my questions. I see no reason why we shouldn't proceed. You seem much more relaxed, Mr. Wright. Good for you. Are you retarded, Cody? It's cinder block, right? Yeah. Good for you. Thank you, Your Honor. Because I don't feel relaxed. No, I do not. Well then. And before, this was my worst idea. <laughs> well then, first, a question for the prosecution, Mr. Payne. Max? Max Payne? Your Honor, as Mr. Wright just told us, the victim was struck with a blunt object. Would you explain to the court just what that object was? The murder weapon was the statue of the thinker. Huh. It was found by lying on the floor next to the victim. Warmed up, yes. I see. Alright. Oh, that's in our evidence now, okay. We can look at that. Let's look at it. 
statue. It's rather heavy. Okay, so if we get a question about whether or not it's heavy or not, we know. Right, be sure to pay attention to any of yep. the evidence is only the ammunition. The only ammunition. It's the only thing you can look at. You can look at it in the court record. Mr. Payne, the prosecution may call its first witness. The prosecution calls the defendant Mr. Butts to the stand. What do I do now? Pay attention. You don't want to miss any information that might help your client's case. You'll get your chance to respond to prosecution later. So be ready. Uh, let's just hope he doesn't say anything unfortunate. Case 3. What's wrong with Case 3? <laughs> I do plan on finishing this game, unlike some games that I do. So, let's hope it goes well. Pay attention, I will. Alright. Yeah, Larry... He doesn't seem like the kind of guy who would be relaxed. Mr. Butts... It, is it not true that the victim had recently dumped you? Hey, watch it, buddy. We were great together. We were Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> Uh, didn't they all die? Oh yeah, they did, didn't they? Yep, yeah, well, they really were like each other then. I wasn't dumped, she just, uh, wasn't taking my phone calls or seeing me ever. What's it to you anyway? Yeah, they were dumped. Or he was dumped. Mr. Butts, what you described is generally what we mean by dumped. In fact, she had completely abandoned you. Seeing other men. Just friends, right? <laughs> uh, she had just returned from overseas with one of them the day before the murder. Great. <laughs> what do you mean, one of them? One of her, you know, sugar daddies, right? I don't believe a word of it. Your Honor, the victim's passport. Alright, let's look at it. I can't look at this? Maybe he hasn't given it to me yet. Ah! Oh my god, I was one text away from it. Alright, now let's look at it. Uh, indeed, she seems to have returned the day before the murder. Alright, let's look at it. Uh, the victim apparently arrived from Paris on the 30th, so if they ask where she was from, or where she went, it was Paris, and if they ask the date, it's the 30th. Alright. Oh. A little stutter there. Okay, dude, no way. Maybe it is a reference, I don't know. The victim was a model, but did not have a large income. How could a... Shoot, oh my god, shoot, I was kidding. I was totally kidding about the sugar daddies thing. I really was. <laughs> wow, uh, I guess Capcom and I, Capcom, Capcom, Capcom and I think alike. Daddies, sugar, yes, older men who, a pimp. Basically, like, I, okay. First, we had to describe dump to him. Now we have to describe uh, being a pimp. Yes. Larry, what are we gonna do with you? <laughs> we can clearly see what kind of woman this Mrs. Stone was. What are you trying to infer there, Payne? Tell me, Mr. Butts, what do you think of her now? Right, I don't think you want him to answer that question. Yeah, Larry has a way of running his mouth in all the wrong directions. Should I... Wait and see what happens. Stop him from number? Well, the game's trying to tell me to stop him, but I want to see what happens. Yeah, I'll do what the game wants. I'll stop him. Objection, right? My client had no idea the victim was seeing other men. That question is irrelevant to the case. Oof. Dude, Nick, what do you mean, irrelevant? That cheating sheep. That's great, Aqua. That's, that's great. I'm gonna die, I'm just gonna drop dead. Yeah, and when I meet her in the afterlife, I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. Let's continue with the trial, shall we? I believe the accused motive, uh, the person who's accused, their motive was to clear everyone. Uh, yes, quite. Oh boy, this is so not looking good. Next question. You went to the victim's apartment on the day of the murder, did you not? So the 31st. 
Well, did you or did you not? Huh? 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 Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Well, maybe I did or maybe I didn't. Uh oh, he went. Uh. Well, in court, you're supposed to answer honestly. I mean, why are we trying to hide evidence, right? I know, I'll send him a signal. Tell the truth. Er, yeah, yeah, I was there. I went, I killed her. <laughs> Order. Well, Mr. Butts, dude, chill. She wasn't home, man. So, like, I didn't see her. <laughs> I bet she killed some Facebook. Your Honor, the defendant is lying. Lying? The prosecution would like to call a witness who can prove Mr. Butts is lying. Watch it be the killer. Well, that simplifies matters. Who is your witness? The man who found the victim's body just before making the gruesome discovery. He saw the defendant fleeing from the scene of the crime. Order, order in the court. Mr. Payne, the prosecution may call its witness. Yes, your honor. This is bad. On the day of the murder, my witness was selling newspapers at the victim's building. Please bring Mr. Frank Sawwit to the stand. Oh. I was right again. It's the killer. And I thought that guy was the killer. Okay. Uh, Mr. Sawwit, you sell newspaper subscriptions, is this correct? Oh, oh yes, newspapers, yes. With this creepy fucking smile. Uh. Mr. Sawwit, you may proceed with your testimony. Please tell the court what you saw on the day of the murder. He's gonna lie. He is going to lie. What's a testimony? Alright, anyway. I saw going. I was going door to door selling subscriptions when I saw a man fleeing in a, from an apartment. I thought he must be in a hurry because he left the door half open behind him. Maybe it was his door. Thinking it strange, I looked inside the apartment. Then I saw her lying there, a woman, not moving, dead. You're lying. You were in there. All right, whatever. I quailed in fright and found myself unable to go inside. I thought to call the police immediately. However, the phone in her apartment wasn't even working. I went to a nearby park and found a public phone. I remember the time exactly. It was 1 p.m. Alright, we have to remember that. It was 1 p.m. The testimony is basically a statement. Okay. The man who ran was, without a doubt, the defendant sitting right over there. Oh, that's complete bullshit. Hmm. Larry, why didn't you tell the truth? I can't defend you against a testimony like that. <laughs> oh, hey, Mr. Coconut? Coconut, dude, I haven't seen you in years. Chicona, if you don't know, Coconut, Mr. Coconut, he's a longtime viewer ever since Final Fantasy X, maybe even Persona 3. And he who, he is who I named Cloud after in Final Fantasy VII. That, that's kind of amazing that he's here. I haven't seen him in forever. Hey, what's up, Mr. Coconut? It's been a long fucking time. Uh, incidentally, why wasn't the phone in the victim's apartment working? Your Honor, at the time of the murder, there was a blackout in the building. Aren't phones supposed to work during a blackout? Yes, Your Honor. However, some cordless phones do not function normally. The phone that Mr. Sawwit used was one of those. Your Honor, I have a record of the blackout for your pursuit. Alright, we gotta look at that. Alright. Electricity to Mrs. Stone's building was out from noon to 6 p.m. on the day of the crime. Okay, I don't know how that's relevant, but I'm sure it will come up later. Yes, er, yes. Yes, Your Honor. You may begin your cross-examination. The real deal. Uh, what exactly am I supposed to do? Yeah. Expose the lies. Of course he was lying.
Well, not necessarily. I mean, in some cases, maybe he was telling the truth in the testimony, but we know for a fact this time around, he's lying. They made it easy on us for our first case, I assume. Uh, anyway. How do I prove he's not? You hold the key. It's in the evidence. I have a key? I have a badge? An autopsy report, a statue, a passport, and some records. I don't see any fucking keys. Compare the witness's testimony to the evidence at hand. There's bound to be a con contradiction in there. First, find contradictions between the court record and the witness's testimony. Then, once you've found the contradicting evidence, present it and rub it in the witness's face. Okay. Touch the court record button and point out the contradictions in the testimony. Okay. Oh, alright. Uh, anyway, you can press and present. I like presents. I guess that means present, like, show them evidence. I was going door to door selling newspaper subscriptions when I saw a man fleeing an apartment. Do I have anything to pre uh, show him? Or, uh, to s do I have something to prove that he wasn't? Probably not. Uh, he didn't say what time he was delivering newspapers. Let's press. Is it a man leaving an apartment a common sight? I find it odd you would take notice of him. Er, huh. I don't know. He just seems strange to me. Yeah, life is pretty strange. Like he was mad and yet frightened at the same time. Just like a criminal fleeing from the scene of a crime. I know what you're hinting at. You douche. The defense requests that the witness, uh, the witness refrain from conjecture. Of course. What the witness means is that the man he saw looked suspicious. So what happened next? I thought he must be in a hurry because he left the door half open behind him. Do we have something to prove? Do we have something to prove he's lying? Nothing about the door. Alright, let's just press them. Half open, you say? Yes. Yes, the door was open halfway. Yes, I watched for a moment, but no one came too close to the door. Too bad there's no, like, security footage. That would have helped a bunch. That's odd. In a big city, in a big city like this, I thought, I see, and then what happened? I want to know to finish this sentence. Hold on. Uh, thinking it was strange, I looked inside the apartment. Ah, oh, fuck, I forgot to press on that one. Hold on, go back. <laughs> hey, can you repeat yourself? Alright. Look inside the apartment. Press it. What gave you the idea to do that? The door was half open, you see. Isn't it only human to want to peek? climb mountains because they are there. It's the same thing. This... No! No, that... That's... Invasion of privacy. Perversion. No, not everyone is like that. Whatever. Such foolish shit. I wonder if Payne knows that he's the killer. What happened next? Uh, then I saw her lying there, a woman, not moving, dead. Wait, hold on, go back. Uh, are you sure she was dead? Well, no, I guess I wasn't. But she wasn't moving at all. There was blood everywhere. I guess that would look fatal to anyone. Very well, what happened next? I quailed in fright and found myself unable to go inside. Ah! The emulator must be weird again. So you didn't touch anything in the apartment. Do we have fingerprints? I don't think we do. Uh, yes, I mean, no, nothing. Okay, what happened next? 
Uh, I think we're supposed to... No, we don't have fingerprints, so we can't... We can't do anything there. Man, that really blows. I thought we would have something to show them, but no. We're, uh, we're shit out of luck there. Oh well. Uh, I thought to call the cops immediately. Call the police immediately. Hold on. What time did he, uh... What time was it reported? The murder. Maybe this. 4, 4 p.m. or 5 p.m. Well, let's press him and see what he has to say about that. You thought to call the police. I want to know what time. You thought to call the police. Does that mean you didn't actually call them? Please, please, listen to the rest of the testimony. You thought to call the police. What happened next? What time? Oh, sorry about that. I was gonna get on, but by the time I got home, it, I didn't really have enough time, dude. I just got back like an hour ago. I was at the DMV all day. However, the phone in her apartment wasn't working. That's true, actually, because of the electricity thing, right? phone in her apartment wasn't working. Yes, I mean, no, no, it wasn't, right. But you said you didn't go into the apartment, or did you? Aha. Oh, oh, that, I can explain that. There was a cordless phone on a shelf in the entranceway. I reached inside and tried using that to call. And that phone wasn't working, correct? What happened next? Wow, this sneaky bastard. I wish we could go to the apartment and prove that he's lying there, but you might actually right with the cordless phone actually being right next to the entrance. Okay, I went to a nearby park and found a public phone. Press on. Let's press his buttons. Why use a public phone? Well, you see, I don't have a cell phone. I don't either. And being the middle of the afternoon, there was no answer at the nearby apartments. Ah, right. What time did you call again? I remember the time exactly. It was 1 p.m. That is fucking bullshit. I don't even have to press him on that. The time of death was 4 p.m. You are a fucking liar. Objection! There we go. The famous objection. Well, you found the body at 1 p.m. You're sure? Yes, it was 1 p.m. for certain. Wow, you should have been more certain about that then. For a killer, you weren't very uh, prepared. You, like, you would think you would know what time that you killed the body. Frankly, I find that hard to believe. Your statement directly contradicts the autopsy report. The autopsy notes the time of death at some time after 4 p.m. There was nobody to her, uh, no body to find at 1 p.m. How do you explain this three hour gap? I, b I bet he has an excuse for this one. Oh, that. Oh, er. The hell? Objection! No. That was very obnoxious. Shut up, Pain. Shut your mouth, Max. Cody think, how could he know the phone in her apartment wasn't working? Because he tried using the phone. Whatever. Anyway, I'm already on a roll. This is trivial. The witness merely forgot the time. No. After his testimony, I find that hard to believe. Mr. Saulwit, why were you so certain that you found the body at 1 p.m.? Yeah, I want to know that too. Why are you so dumb? I heard, well, I, gee, that's a really good question. Great job, right? Way to pull him in on the spot. Put him on the spot. That's all you have to do, point out contradictions. Seems easy enough. Lies always, uh, begate more lies. See through one, and their whole story falls apart. Wait, I remember now. Would you care to give your testimony again? Are you allowed to do that? Give your testimony twice in court? I don't know. Change your story? Well, we'll see what excuse he has, I guess, for this one. You see, when I found the body, I heard the time. There was a voice saying... Hold on, go back, go back. You heard the time? There's no electricity, you fucking dimwit. Present. No, present. How do you present? How do you fucking present? I don't know how to present. 
percent while he's giving it. I guess I have to wait till the examination thing. Uh, oh, but it was three hours off, wasn't it? Hey, XX Stark, what's up? Um, I guess the victim must have been watching a video of a taped program. No, because of the electricity. Yeah, whatever. That's why I thought it was 1 p.m. No, you're 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 stupid. Terribly sorry about the misunderstanding. Yes, thank you. Let me let me do this. Right. You know what to do. Yeah, I do know what to do. I got this. I really do got this. No, you didn't. Objection. Fuck you. Hold it right there. The prosecution has said there was a blackout at the time of the discovery. And this record proves it. You couldn't have heard a television or a video. Yeah. I, well, uh, Urk. Urkel. I heard Urkel. The defense has a point. Do you have an explanation for this, Mr. Sawwit? No, I, uh, I find it quite puzzling myself, quite. Ah! Wait, wait, I remember now. Mr. Sawwit, the court would prefer to hear an accurate testimony from the very beginning. Uh, I w if I was a judge, I'd be like, yeah, you're full of shit, get him, get him locked up. These constant corrections are harming your credibility. Yes, they are. That, and you seem rather, uh, distraught. <laughs> well, my apologies, your honor. It, er, it must have been the shock of finding the body. Very, very well, court, er, judge, you're stupid. Judge Judy went to put up with this shit. Whatever. You didn't hear the time. You saw it. What the hell is... There's a table clock in the apartment. Wasn't there? Yeah. The murder weapon. The killer used it to hit the victim. The... Are you saying the victim was hilt... killed with a clock? Is this guy fucking retarded? No, honest question. He killed, he killed the victim with a statue. And now he's in court testifying against the person he's trying to put the blame on and saying that the weapon that he used was a clock when he knows he used a statue. Is this guy mental? Are you that stupid? What? This doesn't even make sense! Okay, whatever. The defense may cross-examine the witness. This is easy. This is too easy. Alright. I got this shit in the bag. You heard the time. The victim was killed with a clock when you know it was a statue. You're a fucking... Something else right there. Screw you. Wait just a moment. The murder weapon wasn't a clock. It was this. This, this guy is so stupid. It was this statue. Now, how is this supposed to be a clock? <laughs> you and your objections and your evidence and the pudding and the spoon of ice cream. Just answer the question, Mr. Sawit. Hey, I, I saw it there, okay? That's a clock. What? Yes, Mr. Payne. As the witness stated, this statue is indeed a clock. What? What? The neck is a... What? That is the stupidest statue I've ever seen. That is the stupidest clock I've ever seen. This is stupid. But... He wouldn't have heard it unless he was holding it. Cause he has to press the switch. If if it's in its neck, if you if you have to if you have to press a button 
that's on the statue, you would have had to pick up the statue or the clock. And he claimed that he didn't touch anything. He said there was no he didn't he didn't put his fingerprints on anything. So this guy is still lying. <sighs> so the murder weapon was a table clock after all. Wow, this is something else. Mr. Wright, it appears that the witness's testimony was correct. This is a clock. Do you have any problems with the testimony now? Yes, I do, actually. I just, I gave my reason. The only way he could have known the weapon was a clock is to hold... Yeah, exactly. Because you have to press the switch on the neck. The witness knew it was a clock because he... Do the victim! <laughs> he went into the apartment. He killed her. You're lying. You were inside the apartment on the day of the murder. Oh yeah? Prove it. <laughs> His hair went up. Prove I went in there. I'll do I'll do better than that. I can prove you were the one who killed her. You struck her with the clock, and the shock of the blow triggered the clock's voice. That was the sound you heard. But the clock... Is the clock wrong? Because he said it was 1pm, so is the clock three hours behind? Is he that stupid? If we can prove that the clock is three hours behind, we can prove that he killed her. I wonder if we can do that. Let's try it. How do we check what time the clock says? Order in the court. Can we check from here? Does it say whether it's three hours behind? No, it just says it's traveling heavy. Order in the court. Uh, order in the court. Intriguing. Please continue, Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Sawwit, the sound must have left quite an impression on you. Understandably, since the murder weapon spoke just as you hit the victim, that voice was burned into your mind. That's why you were so certain about the time. W what's the meaning of this? This is all baseless conjecture. Baseless? Don't you even know who I am? I'm the base god, bitch. No, just look at the witness's face. Would the witness care to elaborate? No, put him, put him in jail right now. Lock him up. Throw away the key. You strike the victim with the clock. I, I, that day, I, I never look. I, the clock, I heard. No, I mean, I saw, 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 wit. Well, that was a little extreme. I didn't know you had a fucking wig. Shut up, shut up, shut up. I hate you. It was him, I tell you. I saw him. He, he, he killed her and he, he should burn. Burn, give him death. This guy's uh, a little weird. Not, not a little weird, quite weird, quite psychotic. I mean, he is a killer, after all. Order, order in the court, I say. Your honor. A moment, please. Uh, there isn't a shred of evidence supporting the defense's claim. Your honor, you claim the sound the witness heard came from the clock. Do you have any evidence? Yes, Your Honor. The sound Mr. Sawit heard was definitely this clock. A fact which is clear if you simply try sounding the clock. Or the batteries. Are the batteries three hours off? No. Try sounding the clock. Let's sound the clock now here in this court. Your Honor, may I have the clock? I asked the court to listen very carefully. I think it's eight, you think? That certainly is a strange way to announce the time. 8.25, is that what time? No, it's 10 p.m. The, the court thing at the beginning when it said episode one, it said 10 p.m., didn't it? Well, he is the thinker after all. <laughs> he has to think of what time it is. A clock that's wrong. Why would you want a clock? That tells time, but does it incorrectly. So we've heard the clock. What are your conclusions, Mr. Wright? Mr. Payne, can you tell me what time it is now? 
it's uh, 1125. <laughs> there you go. As you can see, this clock is exactly three hours slow. Precisely the discrepancy between what Mr. Sawit heard and the actual time of death. So, Mr. Sawit, try to talk your way out of this one as you clench your fist with uh, your bald ass head. <laughs> you forgot one thing. Uh oh, what's he talking about? While it may seem like that the clock is running three hours slow, it proves how. How do you know it was running three hours slow on the day of the murder? If you can't prove that, then you don't have a case. Uh, the batteries? The batteries in the clock? Um. <sighs> Man, it's like English. You gotta, like, fucking make a statement and then have claims to back it up. It's like making an essay. Yes, Your Honor. <sighs> That's it? He's just gonna go away freely? I hate court. I come all the way down to testify and look what happens. They treat me like a criminal. That's because you are. Ugh. 